analytical chemistry, our goal is to identify the chemical composition of substances. So we can verify quality of products, understand their properties, and ensure safety of chemicals, drugs, and food. So how to identify the chemical composition of substances? The most precise technique uses the weight and M over Z or mass to charge of each chemical component. So we can guess its chemical composition. This technique is well known as mass spectrometry analysis. Mass spectrometry analysis can be applied in climate change to evaluate the effects of global warming in plants and in our environment. To monitor pollution, to estimate age of bones and fossils by carbon dating, to evaluate soil and food contamination by pesticide use. This chart shows in red pesticide residues above regulated limits in fruits and vegetables that come from Thailand. It's also largely applied in the pharmaceutical industry for drug testing and discovery, in genetics for the study of proteins, disease and cancer diagnostics, in forensic analysis to analyze evidence in crime scenes, in the mag lab, we have several magnets that basically measure the weight and abundance of each chemical component in the sample using mass spectrometry analysis techniques. Early, thousands of scientists come from all over the world to the mag lab since we have the most precise magnets. But how does it work? We inject this sample in one of our magnets and it will create a spectrum where each peak corresponds to a different chemical component to be identified by its M over Z and its height is its abundance in the sample. But how do you know if your molecular formula assignments are correct? Since there are chemical components with similar M over Z. Which one is in your sample? Also, there are small peaks in the spectrum. Is this component really there? How confident are you in your chemical composition gas? Therefore, our goal is to create a statistical model to answer the question, is this identified component in the sample? which we've translated as what is the probability of this assigned molecular formula being correct. In our statistical approach, we consider the error between the observed M over Z and the theoretical for each identified component. The shape of each peak in the spectrum. The relationship between components since we know their chemical patterns to be followed. We also consider the noise created in the process of collecting data and the resolution of our spectrum can create split peaks. Our model changes the way we analyze the chemical composition of substances. It makes it more reliable by indicating which components are more likely to be present and which ones are doubtful. It also helps the industry in its research and quality control, helping to answer an old question. How much resolution is enough? Thank you.